Aromatime Bistro presents Wine Time Live, hosted by the Hudson Valley's premier green certified entrepreneurs, Marcus and Jamie Giuliano. So grab a glass of your favorite vino, sit back, relax, and travel with them, sharing their passion discovering unique vineyards, outstanding wines, delicious food, and great adventure. Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Wine Time Live, episode number 17, a dark drive mm. on the Almafi Coast. The Almafi Coast is beautiful. Oh, yes. <laughs> Almafi or Almafi? Amalfi. Amalfi Coast. Amalfi. No, not Al. Amal. Not Al Malfi. A-M-A-N. Amalfi Coast. Yes. In Italy, of course. Yes. Amalfi Coast in Italy. So, we are... Um, pouring a wine right now. Jamie just opened a bottle of Kratos from Luigi Maffini. Uh, Luigi Maffini, the famed winemaker, Luigi Maffini, um, in Campania. Campania is near Naples, Italy, and of course, Naples, Italy is where the Almafi Coast is, yes. a picturesque part of southern Italy um, on the um, western side uh, where you see all those pictures of Italy. I actually just got a picture of the Almafi Coast blown up. Um, that Did I'm gonna, you? Yeah. Got it blown up on canvas. Didn't even know that. Didn't know, no. I'm going to hang it. It must have been a surprise. It's a surprise for you. Surprise gift. It's a surprise for you. <laughs> it's for business. It has I'm our kidding, little I'm VIP kidding. wine logo on there. Um, beautiful, beautiful picture uh, blown up. I was planning on hanging it behind here where I have our two runners, um, Bannister. Um, that's where I was planning on going to cover that whole square that's there. Um, it fits in perfect. Um, so, welcome to Wine Time Live our <coughs> sort of weekly podcast. We've skipped a few weeks. We've We're skipped. Sorry. We've doubled up a few weeks. Yes. But when it's released on, on iTunes and iHeartRadio, it's released every week, same time every week. Um, so basically, we're here to talk about the experience of the winery itself, not so and much the wine. traveling with us and getting an experience and tasting good wine, but being with good people and having an amazing experience with the winemakers and the, and, and just being in that, that space of enjoyment. Absolutely. And having fun and yeah. Right, the emotional connection to the winery. Absolutely. So you and I just, we had a wine rep come here a little earlier today. We did, yes. He left us some amazing Italian wine, yes, some like top we notch. Can't wait to taste, but right. we did taste the one. We did taste one. I yep. love the wine. And what did, what was your exact response? What's missing? What's missing is the personal experience and the relationship. The relationship. The relationship, right? It would have been nice to be drinking that bottle of wine at that moment, knowing that we were at the vineyard and that there was an experience. Knowing the owner. And knowing the owner, and um, that would have been yes, you're right. So experience. for us, for us, this show is about us connecting you to our emotional experience with the wine, the winery, mm -hmm. um, the owner, our personal experience of going to the vineyard itself. Right. Not so much this tastes like cherry and it has this much acidity and it has so much sugar. Like I'm, it doesn't taste I know, like, I'm just, I'm just I'm giving kidding, an example. Yeah. So obviously this is white wine if you're watching this on the video. <laughs> uh, this is white wine. It doesn't um, taste like cherry. No, there's no cherry in here. No. Um, so, Dark drive down the Almafi coast. You so the drive to this winery was very, was very interesting, and the winery itself was really cool. Do you remember the tasting room there? Oh, amazing, amazing. downstairs. But let's talk about the drive there first. Drive so. there first. So it's November, two thousand nineteen. Yes. Um, it gets dark in Italy early, just like it does here in the U.S. at that time. Not as early in southern Italy. But we're driving from an area in Campania known as Avellino or Tarassi, where they make Tarassi wines. Mm -hmm. And we had a great day tasting um, on some amazing vineyards in Tarassi. Tarassi is the powerhouse wine of the South. I love Tarassi. Oh, Tarassi is so beautiful. Good. When they talk about, they call, it, they call it the Barolo of the South. It's such a powerful, bold wine made from Alianico, A-G-L-I-N-A-C-O, Alianico. The G is silent. Um, we started this trek in the afternoon to um, the towards El Mafi Coast, and we're in Campania, and very mountainous. A lot of mountains. You were doing the driving. Gets dark early. <laughs> we have GPS, thank goodness. 
We have GPS. Is this the winery that we we weren't sure if we were at the right place? Yes. Yes. Okay. And we pulled in, and we pulled in, and, and it was like down a hill. Down a hill. Down a very the yeah. new the new winery. They're constructing the winery. But we were the top. there, and it wasn't dark yet. No. Though. But when we left there to go to our destination that night, it was right. a very, very dark, dark, yes. dark, mountainous road to the Almafi Coast. Was, the Almafi Coast wasn't that far from the winery. And there were a lot of turns, if I remember oh. correctly, right? And we were going through some weird areas, yeah. some some roads that are very narrow. In Italy, the roads are narrow, and it's just understood that hey, if another car's coming, you, you pull stop. over and you stop. You stop. You, you stop. don't like you don't muscle your way through and try to beat the other person. Right. Everybody just pulls over, and one person goes, and one person stays, and that's how the roads are there. Um, fortunately or unfortunately, fortunately that's their attitude there is let the other person, <laughs> the go. Other person go. Don't race to try to get right. to the spot. Um, we pull up to this beautiful mountaintop vineyard. There's vines everywhere. We pull up and there's this concrete building getting constructed on top. Right. And we were like, are we in the right place? Right. So we pull up and we ask the guys and they don't speak they English. They don't speak any English. <laughs> and they have no idea that we're like we're going to the winery. They have right. no clue what no we're clue. there for. No clue. But right? underneath this construction is the cellar. Mm -hmm. And this is where all the magic happens. Mm -hmm. And the winery is a newer construction building. Um, but what happens downstairs is just magic. They basically built into the side of the mountain. So when you go into the basement, the whole mountainside is exposed on the one wall inside the basement. Yeah, and it was like wet. Watery. Remember, like water, water, water coming was down. coming in a little bit. And they had this huge long table. And you felt like... I, you actually felt like you were in a castle a little you bit. You did, right? You did. You felt like it was very open space and this long table, and you could see the mountain like behind, and it was just really, it was cool. It was Do you remember cool. what happened when I went to take a picture? Didn't it light up in there? Like it got, Outside. Like, remember outside I went to take a picture? I don't remember, no. And Luigi said, don't take picture there, those aren't my vines. Oh, yeah, he said, that, that's not mine. Those are mine over there. Don't take that. <laughs> don't take that picture. Take the picture he goes, here. over here are mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that, yeah. So, um, Luigi Maffini was a winery. It's the, name, the winemaker, the wine owners, also named his wine, Luigi Maffini, after himself. Um, he was, the winery was thrown upon us a couple of weeks earlier, uh, a friend of ours. Quickly. At, a friend of ours at a... At a at a distribution company, and at his importer, right, right. said, go visit. If you're going to be in this area, I'll set go you up here. with Luigi Maffini. So we said, okay, We great. had never really had his wife had before, no, had we? No idea. Had no idea who Luigi Maffini was. No idea. No idea. So yeah. we're talking the next day to Luigi, our Luigi, our tour guide and friend yes, in yes. Italy. And Luigi goes, where were you yesterday? And we said, we're at Luigi Maffini. He <laughs> goes, how do you... He's like, he was how, like, what? What? <laughs> like, how do you know? How do you know about Luigi Maffini? He's like, he's the most famous winemaker in that region. Like, he is it. Like, how? Did, who hooked you up with right. Luigi Maffini? And Luigi Maffini did your tour. And we're like, well, right. yeah. yeah. Our importer, the importer, yeah. called Luigi and said, hey, Marcus and, and Jamie are going. it was so, like, so cool to sit with him and talk to him. And, right. Like, his... I guess one of the guys who works in his vineyard was there, and it was just a really nice, it was a really great visit. It was really fun and very educational. Right. I mean, he explained, like, why the wines are... So if you look at this wine, right, uh, Kratos, right, um, That that's a very Greek name, mm -hmm. right? So he was explaining about Greece, and he was explaining about... The, why he named it this wine, which I, of course, can't remember because you always remember the detail part of it, and I remember uh, the, the big picture don't of it. Don't put me on the spot now. I don't remember. Okay, I don't need But that. I believe the grapes, his family brought some of the grapes over or, or somehow they were planted over there, and I don't really remember the whole situation, but um, that's there's a reason why they're named that. Maybe after his family? Might be after his family. I'm not sure 100% yet. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. We should look at um, um, This is, what grape is this? This is Fiano. Uh, Fiano. Um, so this is from, this right here, folks, is in the same region that's famous for buffalo mozzarella in Campania. This is just right in that region in Campania. Campania is an amazing region for the birthplace of pizza, being Naples. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the buffalo mozzarella that's there, the San Marziano tomatoes. Yes. I mean, yes. that makes a perfect pizza. San Marziano tomatoes, buffalo mozzarella, the double zero flour comes from there. Naples is the birthplace. That's where any serious pizza, pizzaiole, 
will go there and learn how to make pizza from the, from the Naples, from the, the Association of Naples. So Kratos, so now our Luigi, our Luigi, our tour yes. guide and friend, was very impressed that we... We were there. We were there. Luigi's been a sommelier in Italy for 25 years. Luigi knows all the best vineyards in Italy. Um, Luigi's a personal friend of ours. Um, we can't wait for him to come back into the States here. Hopefully he'll yeah, be able to travel soon, soon, get back into the U.S., um, he's visited us several times here. We've known him since 2009, for, yes. since 2009 trip, and stayed uh, in contact with him and very friendly. Now he does all of our, he's our tour guide on all of our trips. Plus, he's worked in restaurants forever as a master certified sommelier. So he's like, Marcus, you could not have gone to the, to the, the most, that's the best vineyard in that area. Luigi Maffini is so particular. His quality is exceptional. Here he is. Um, so, um, and literally, right? yes, yes. So literally, literally, Luigi is so particular, so particular that when we were taking the picture, we wanted to make sure that his vines were in the picture yeah. and not his neighbor's vines. It's not that he didn't like the neighbor, but he's proud of his, he's proud of whatever he does. And he takes passion and pride. And if you're gonna take a picture from his vineyard, he, from his from his doorstep, he wants to make sure that you're including only his vines and not his neighbor's right. vines. Um, so I thought that was I, th I thought that was really cool. It was very cool. So this is the Fiano. He also makes several other grapes. Yeah, I was, you, you, I, I was yeah. actually looking it up. Is it so easier for you to go on the computer? No, nope, I have it. So have he it? has. Um, uh, Does he make some red wines? Cleos Aglianico. Aglianico, great. Um, he has the Fiano. Um, Kratos, which is what we're drinking. It's Fiano. Mm. Um, he has a P Pietran Tranca Tenata Fiano. Uh, another Alianico, another Alianico. So, yeah, I mean, literally, he didn't it, have that many wines. If literally, if you were to give me any one of his wines, they were awesome. They, oh, they were all amazing and awesome. They were really just great quality wines um, from a very passionate winemaker. Um, and and would, there he is. So. If you're watching us. If you're us. watching, you can see a picture of him and, and Google him. Luigi Maffini. Maffini. M-A-F-F-I-N-I. -F -F Maffini. Um, and of course, when we go to this part of Italy to Campania, this will definitely be on our stop. Um, we could not miss Luigi Maffini. I mean, we drove up this mountain, up this mountain to his vineyard, um... It was so picturesque. It was a little cloudy out. The clouds were breaking. Yeah, the clouds were there. The clouds would break. The clouds were there. I mean, literally driving up to this Italian, Italian uh, mountaintop vineyard. When we left there, we were on our way to the Amalfi Coast, which yes, isn't we far. It's not far, but the roads. The roads are so narrow, and the back you have roads. You go through. Like you have to go around the mountains. You can't just go through the mountain. Like there's no. There was no direct. Path, there's no direct. Right? Yeah. So we're going up, down, sideways, these narrow roads, and GPS is taking us to the Almafi Coast, which is just literally, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes away, but it was dark when we went. It was dark, yeah. And it was a really dark drive to the Almafi Coast. We got settled in. We weren't sure where we were going. We, I think we booked it on our way there. We booked it on our way there. <laughs> in the car ride there, Jamie's going, this place, this, I'm like, just book something already. Pick the most expensive place you can find and just book it. Yeah. Right? And yeah, how did that turn out? Not so great. <laughs> it was not our favorite place that we stayed. It wasn't even a good place. It wasn't. I mean, it was, we were tired, right? And then we get to this small, like, it leads you to a small little town. And it's on the Amalfi Coast. So you're going down these very narrow place, like um, uh, roads. Switchbacks. And, and you get to this place that says, you're you're at your destination. So we're like, oh, we're here. Great. Yeah. We can hop out of the car. We're, we're on the water right we're now. We're literally on the water and there's no hotel. And we're like, well, where do we go now? So we call the hotel. They go, oh, well, you have to go up the hill and to the left. And, and we're like, well, how do we get up the hill? Like, well, it was over a small little bridge. Remember? Right. It was over a small little bridge. And they were and telling us where it was. And we were looking we're up looking on top up of the mountain. Like, there's the hotel. There. And they're like, yeah, get out and walk. And I'm like, I, I don't think... So we ended up finding the place, but it was, how do you describe it? It was like Americanized, Americanized place. Hotel, it was an Americanized and hotel. It was definitely not our cup of tea. It was not, it was not, it wasn't warm. It wasn't Italian. It wasn't very, 
it reminded me of going to a beachfront place and you didn't really care because you were on the beach, that type of place. And, and again, it was the most expensive place we could find in that area of the Amalfi Coast. Yes. Um, we literally paid three times the price. And the... We, equ we equated price to quality. And the, the, the room was like, you felt like you were <sighs> on the beach, like, you know? Yeah, like, it, just it just wasn't happening. wasn't happening. So when we pick our rooms out for our VIP trips, we like to go to the hotels first. Now, if we would have looked at this on paper or on the internet, on the website, it would have been a beautiful place. It would have been an amazing place. Right. Um, price is up there, which usually signifies quality. There's a lot of things could have checked out. The rating, five star, this, that. It was all there. Mm -hmm. But once we got there and we walked in and we saw what the hotel was about. Now, this place is great for group tours, not for our boutique, not for tour, our boutique, boutique tours. tours. No. There were two or three other buses when we pulled in, in the driveway there. We go in there. We go up to the room. We check in. Then we go to the dining room, the restaurant there, because, okay, let's eat. We're hungry. Right. And we look at the list and all of us, the wine list, and all of a sudden we see California. All American California, wines. not all, but there were no, a lot of, mostly. a lot of California wines on the list. And we're like, California wines in Italy. We're like, tourist trap, people that are going that just, that don't research or that just want something right. familiar. This fits them perfect, right. right? It's expensive, it's nice, but it's not boutique-y. California wines, you can, you definitely know what you're ordering. You know what you're ordering, right? You know what you're ordering. Yeah. Ravenswood's Infidel. Right. You know, um, Clos de Bois Cabernet. Cabernet. It's, it's, it's it there. Is, it's yeah. not some wine you have to decipher. You can play it safe and get decent quality wines. So we looked at the bartender and said, where do you go for dinner? And he goes down into town. Down into town. Yeah. So we go to the front desk and we said, where should we go for dinner? And they said, well, you can't walk. You have to drive. So we hopped in the car and we went to a great restaurant. Remember Two the or restaurant? three restaurants they gave us. Only yep. one was open. Yep. Um, we went in. The owner's wife was our waitress. And the kids were the, the kids, kids were running, running around. around. It the, was so nice and reminded us of our first yeah. days when our yeah. kids would run around yeah. the restaurants yeah. when they wouldn't work. They'd run around. You were waiting tables. I was in the kitchen cooking. We could totally relate to this to to, to, to this couple. Mm. And we asked her if she's the owner, and she said yes. And we started talking to her, and we immediately connected. We started talking to the tables next to us. Next to it us. Was really, it was, the food was, was, ama was really amazing. Good, really good. The wine was inexpensive and top quality. Um, the vineyards they picked, it was amazing. We would totally go back to that restaurant. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Not to the hotel, but to the restaurant. Yeah. We get back to the hotel, and we one of the couples... We go sit at the bar. And one of the couples we were sitting next to was there. Right. They came back, and they're like, oh, yeah, from the restaurant, Yeah. Then we started talking to the group of people there, and they were on a group trip. They were coming from one of those buses that was parked in the parking lot. They were all from Connecticut, and the guy, they were like raving about the hotel. Like, this hotel's great, this and that. When we told them what we do, we do boutique wine they trips. Like, oh, wow. You're going to bring your guests here? And we had to break it to them. We're like, oh, we're no, not going to bring no. our guests here. <laughs> we're not. This place is not quite what we do on our, right. our trips. This is what we look for. We connected with them, and their trips were almost the same price as ours. They sure were. For, and they were stuck at that hotel for how many days? Four, four days. Four days, five days. Four and then they went from there. They went so. from there. They broke off from there and did daily trips from there. Yeah. And I was like, I could not imagine being stuck in this hotel. No, thank you. With this food, <laughs> without a car, yeah, to have no. to walk to town or take a cab to town um, for four nights. Because this this trip did not include their trip. Their trip did not include food. food. Didn't include food. Didn't include food. And they paid almost as much as our guests are paying for our trip. Yeah. That includes everything. Yeah. And I'm like, when we told him that, he was like, oh my gosh. Like, we, but for theirs, it was like some kind of, I don't know if it was a church it was a church group. Was it a, it church, was a church, group church group or something? Yeah. So they yeah. kind of felt compelled. It was a fundraiser, this and that. Group, yeah. But it wasn't... It, I would donate money back. If they wanted to book with us, I would donate them $10,000 <laughs> back or yeah. something. I'd, I'd work out a deal with them to pay our price and donate like $10,000 back to them, raise money, and give them an experience of a lifetime um, versus what they what they were getting at that hotel and, and their trip. And uh, they had gone to a winery themselves. Um, the problem when you book those those corporate trips, those cookie cutter trips is, they're going to all the tourist traps. Yeah, and there's no there's no relationships built. There's no between, relationships. Yeah, the tour guide might know the owner, right? Might know him because he's been there five, six times. Or not even the owner, but someone working there. But there's no relationship built. So, you know, our big thing is building the relationships and mm -hmm. then taking our guests with us to those wineries where we've already built that relationship. Exactly. We're wow, we haven't seen you in a year. How right. are you? How Hello, are Luigi. Kids? Right, you know. yeah, right. Yeah. 
So when we walk into Luigi Maffini, not only is Luigi going to hug us, he's also going to hug our Luigi because right. he knows our Luigi <laughs> right, as right. well. So this is, you know, this is the big advantage of building relationships with these, with, with these individual yeah. owners. And this happens, we like to do this wherever, whether it's California, New York State, no matter where we talk. Italy, Spain. We want that relationship, that mm -hmm. direct relationship with the people who produce. And that was the one thing that was missing from the bottle of wine we drank earlier, yes, that sample was. bottle that was that, that was left yeah. for us. The wine was great, mm -hmm. but there was no emotional connection, no connection to the wine. Zero. And now drinking this wine, mm. I can just see Luigi there. I, I'm sitting can, at the table. I'm with sitting at the table. Wine. I'm looking at his at his at his at his, his cellar wall. And his that's family, all exposed. His family business that's, that yeah. he's building for his future for his grandchildren right. for his children right and him telling me yeah. don't take pictures there even though yeah. it's right out the window this is my no, no, this these is are my vines take pictures yeah. of my vines in they the care. picture yeah so, so um if you want to travel with us vip winerývacations.com travel italy with us travel upstate new york to the finger lakes with us um long island we're planning long on long island trip um we take you to the people that we know and trust in the wine country so that's the bottom line um this wine is amazing, by the way. Fiano. <laughs> Fiano is the most popular grape in southern Italy throughout through Campania and through Apulia. Fiano mm -hmm. being a yes, white grape, F-I-A-N-O, Fiano, uh, the most popular grape. This one here is so balanced oh God, and so, so elegant. Oh, so good. It's amazing. It's got a little citrus at the front. It's so nice. Anyone who's making wine between Naples and Bari going down south into the hill is making Fiano. That's the bottom line. Fiano is... Probably is the Alianico, king of, too. Alianico, too. Yeah. Fiano is the king of the white grapes in, the, in that region, from both coasts and on and down into the heel. It's yeah. Fiano. If you want to try a beautifully uh, wine that has rich yeah. in minerals, good acid edge um, from southern Italy, um, look for Fiano from any vineyard. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Um, that's it. That's it. Cheers. Cheers. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate the support. We appreciate listening, viewing, If you're interested us. in traveling with us, vipwinerivacations.com. You can uh, message us, and we'll get you any information you need. So love to have you. Thank you very much. Talk to everybody later.